It's a pleasure for me to be uh, in such a, a distinctive uh, place and company and, uh, and, and uh, present the work that uh, we have done. Um, I actually represent, as, uh, as uh, Vyolta just said, uh, a team of researchers. Uh, we... How does it work? Uh, oh, okay. Um, yes. Uh, a team of researchers, uh, four people, uh, worked on, on uh, parts of this presentation. Uh, it is uh, my colleagues uh, Diana Kishchenko and Ieva Puzo, who are uh, ethnographers. Uh, Diana spent um, in Montenegro eight months altogether. Uh, Ieva and me. Uh, spent uh, four months each. I have never c uh, calculated how many hours it is. Now, now <laughs> I approximately might uh, might know because it's day and night and and uh, not counted uh, as uh, usual uh, work hours. Um, uh, and also recently, our team was joined by Andres Saulitis, who is who is there by the camera, uh, and uh, and he was uh, uh, more uh, um, dealing with uh, uh, with. Um, uh, the quantitative data. Now on this basis uh, we have also published uh, or, or prepared uh, to publish a lot of, uh, of uh, different materials and this is uh, just uh, uh, an extract of, uh, of one aspect of those uh, materials. Now um, I'm pressing the wrong button I guess. Um, now the the center of uh, of my presentation today and uh, and the argument is that that the informality uh, and this is based on on our uh, research in Montenegro uh, informality uh, there is based on or centered around uh, what uh, we call the networks of knowledge uh, and uh, and these uh, networks of knowledge are based uh, um, primarily uh, on the uh, um, uh, on the uh, topic uh, of um, uh, of predictability. So, how do you work? How do you live uh, in uh, in a society that, as uh, as Predrag was uh, saying, uh, have been uh, quite uh, quite uh, um, prone to change in the recent uh, decades and recent uh, uh, um, uh, century, actually. Uh, and uh, you you need some kind of uh, predictability, and this predictability, uh, as we have found uh, and we uh, interpret our data, is based uh, very much on the um, on the knowledge and knowledge about uh, mostly fellow citizens. But what is also very important, uh, uh, and this, uh, uh, where, where this knowledge uh, fails, it is uh, extended by um, different kinds of mutual uh, m reciprocal um, exchanges. But what is very uh, important here, and what, uh, what links together uh, and what makes this system to work, is that it also it doesn't work only uh, on the basis of uh, of individuals or or individual networks, but it works on both levels on on the level of individual um, and on on the level of um, um, uh, of uh, of political parties and uh, both of those levels crossing kind of uh, private and public sphere. Um, uh, work uh, around this uh, uh, this uh, concept or principle of networks of knowledge. Um, uh, as a result, it creates uh, um, a, a system which is resilient, meaning that it can survive different kinds of uh, of situations. Uh, it is at the same time uh, um, decentralized. And it is at the same time uh, centered around particular people, and that is the very important um, uh, situ uh, very important part in in this picture, because uh, if the um, if the center of uh, of the uh, predictability of your life is centered at your um, uh, um, at yourself, you can carry 
that, uh, uh, that predictability with yourself, uh, regard regardless of what is happening around, uh, around you. So it is a resilient, uh, decentralized, person-centered uh, um, uh, system. Now, uh, there, is, there are some, uh, some important background, uh, um, um, uh, background issues uh, when we talk about, uh, about this um, picture. And uh, the first principle is, um, uh, is the low uh, trust in general uh, public. Uh, and the other uh, issue was, um, uh, was already uh, mentioned by Predrag in, in his presentation, is uh, uh, the, uh, the situation where the larger structures that link together different kind of, uh, of um, um, uh, networks and, uh, and uh, um, institutions that are above the level of individual family or, or individual networks are prone to, to change quite often, as, as it was nicely shown on the, on the basis of the old lady who lived in, in six different countries without ever leaving her, her uh, house. Um, this is what I'm talking about. The, the, the um, uh, large uh, structures are quite uh, changeable or sub subject to change. Uh, this is uh, how, uh, how uh, the first part or background part looks when we look at the, uh, at the data from our uh, survey. Uh, you can see that uh, here, um, the, unfortunately, uh, you cannot uh, see the numbers, but the blue area shows those uh, uh, percentage of those people in in the survey who uh, said that when when we ask them how much do you uh, trust in general in other people in your society, they said not at all or almost not at all on the scale of from one to to 10, they said that uh, uh, they chose uh, one or two, meaning there is no trust or almost no trust. It is almost half of the society uh, uh, who said like that. So how do you live in such a situation? That's a very uh, kind of uh, difficult situation where, where in general you cannot, uh, you cannot tr trust, uh, trust other people uh, much. Um, and. Um, what we can see on the basis of our research is that this uh, dilemma is resolved by, uh, by uh, having uh, uh, knowledge about other people in the society. Now, it is known, of course, as the saying uh, goes, uh, that uh, knowledge is power, but knowledge is also certainty. So when, when you know uh, something about other people, it also makes you certain that, uh, that you know how they are going to, uh, to behave uh, in certain situations. And, uh, uh, in Montenegro, this probably is the most uh, um, uh, visible um, uh, how this works, but, uh, but there is a, uh, a quite uh, um, um, uh, big uh, grounds to claim that this is not particularly uh, just uh, characteristic for, for Montenegro. But in Montenegro, um, uh, we can see that, uh, that, the, uh, that the central uh, hub of trust is centered around uh, the immediate family, the kin uh, and the larger kin groups uh, or, or larger groups of relatives. Um, uh, a person can have knowledge about the, uh, his or her uh, relatives and, uh, and family members on the basis of different kinds of experiences. But one of these, uh, these uh, kind of knowledge comes from, from rather stereotypical knowledge, uh, meaning that you know uh, uh, to what kind of family other people belong. And you know this by, by referring, or because you can, uh, can uh, um, ask uh, simple questions uh, which reveal this belonging to, the, to this kind of, uh, uh, of grouping, where you know that uh, some person comes from, from good family, some person comes from bad family. This is a stereotypical knowledge. Of course, there, there is a, a, a knowledge that is much more um, uh, personalized, uh, where you, uh, 
base your predictions about other people on the basis of, uh, of um, um, actual experience. Now, this, uh, this uh, belonging to particular families and b particular kin groups uh, also uh, uh, makes larger connections, uh, uh, larger connections between uh, individual persons and the state and official um, uh, formal structures in the state on the basis of, for instance, um, uh, from our ethnographic research, the, uh, here is a picture of Njegos, probably uh, most of you uh, recognize uh, uh, from his uh, mausoleum on top of, uh, of um, um, uh, Mount Lovchen in Montenegro. Uh, in uh, the village of Njegoshi, where I did my, my fieldwork, two groups of families uh, uh, or two groups of relatives create their distinctive two uh, contrasting versions of them belonging or their in, uh, interaction between them and the state uh, um, uh, formal institutions on the basis of them being related to uh, either Njegosh here on the picture or to um, Vukolai Radonic who were two op opponent, political opponents uh, back in um, uh, early 19th century. And, <coughs> and this is a very important way how people structure their relationships with, uh, with the state today based on, on the way how they are uh, belonging to certain groups all the way down. This is, by the way, not nothing uh, particular uh, for Njegoshi or, or uh, Montenegro, but that happens all the way, uh, um, all around um, the globe. Only, uh, usually we do not pay too much attention to that. Uh, this, is, uh, this knowledge is extended through, um, uh, through a network of, uh, of friends, uh, uh, and institutions uh, such like uh, Kumstvo or Godparenthood, uh, where you can institutionalize uh, the, the uh, knowledge uh, through, through um, certain informal or semi-formal um, uh, institutions. Uh, and what is also important in the areas where it is not, import, uh, not available through these kinds of, of uh, channels, uh, knowledge about other people is very actively so, uh, thought out, uh, thought after. So, so uh, people would actively inquire uh, about belonging to one, whom do you know, who is your, uh, your friends, who are your, uh, your links, who are you, uh, which family do you belong to, and so on and so on. This is how it looks on, on, the, um, uh, on the survey, and here you can see we asked uh, what, uh, how do you um, uh, trust different kinds of, um, um, uh, of groups uh, of people, and you can see that um, uh, several groups stand out quite starkly. Uh, uh, here the blue line indicates uh, um, um, uh, answers to the question how d uh, about uh, um, immediate family. So you can see that almost 80% uh, of respondents said that they can trust their family almost completely, 9 to 10 on the scale of uh, 1 to 10. Uh, and here is Friends is the, the gray uh, line, so almost 40% um, um, said that they can uh, trust their friends completely, and the uh, um, orange line indicates um, uh, trust in, uh, in relatives in general. So friends are more trusted than, uh, than relatives in general. Um, now, what is important is that this, uh, this uh, kind of structure, this kind of principle is, uh, is used both on, on the individual level. People would act on, uh, um, in, in this kind of um, um, way in their everyday life, but also the same principle is repeated and actively used by also political parties. And when we see how political parties work, uh, you can see that they work on the basis of the same networks of, uh, of knowledge. Um, so uh, so pa uh, party um, activists and party um, um, 
uh, people who work for, for political parties would also maintain lists uh, of, uh, of people or, or uh, work uh, so that they would know exactly who is voting, who is, who is reliable, who can be trusted to vote for them and who not. They would make co uh, phone calls and so on. Yes, thank you. Um, to, to ensure that they, uh, they have this, uh, this knowledge. Um, uh, also, uh, where this, uh, this kind of, uh, uh, and, and what is also important that it, it all w um, is encapsulated in an assumption that everybody actually knows how everybody else is, is, is voting. So, so when people would go uh, through the town, uh, uh, it is very often to, to, to hear that they could um, uh, elaborate on the voting preferences of, of of one or another person who are sitting by the by the street in the cafes or somewhere else. Uh, so everybody knows how how everybody else will be voting, and where that cannot uh, um, sustain uh, the the uh, the. Um, security uh, uh, it is extended by offering or actually um, um, sustained by uh, offering um, uh, and ensuring loyalty by those who are uh, are already supporters or actually also opponents by offering different kinds of perks mostly in the form of jobs um, and jobs could be offered also against this information so so the party would offer a job uh, in exchange for the uh, for the information about how other people in that part uh, that organization would be voting so it is very important here is another uh, uh, lots of uh, of lines but what is important here the gray line uh, shows uh, people uh, answers to the to the question how do people get jobs uh, and the gray line uh, just says that uh, that it is through uh, through um, uh, um, uh, through acquaintances, through uh, through connections, uh, which is the the way how people mostly get get jobs uh, uh, everywhere. But what is important here is this uh, red line, which shows that um, that um, ab about thirty five percent uh, of people say that that they get jobs through party, um, which uh, which indicates that uh, importance of this channel. Now, what what here is important is that this system works. One of these things, uh, what, uh, what this project uh, uh, was after, was uh, um, after informal things that work. Obviously, this, this uh, somehow works. It works because it works independent of what is happening on, on the official level. It doesn't matter what kind of state, what kind of uh, political situation, what kind of uh, new laws pass and uh, come and go, this situation will work uh, this system will work anyway, so it is imp independent of, the, of these larger structures. It is uh, resistant to the changes, but what we, we also have to say is that it is not necessarily dysfunctional. Um, uh, it, it resolves certain uh, problems. It works on below um, official level. We have seen examples of um, of local democ uh, democratic structures, local, gov uh, local communities working together to solve their immediate, uh, um, uh, immediate um, uh, 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 necessities, uh, but, um, uh, but it doesn't work up where, where the political parties start to be involved. Uh, now, but when we look in a larger, um, uh, larger context, uh, of course, this kind of, as, as Predrag was already saying, uh, it looks very uh, undesirable when you look from the point of view of, uh, of uh, European uh, tradition of bureaucratic government. Uh, now, but when, you, when we look at, at larger uh, um, uh, what is happening in the world in general, in larger uh, scale, you can see that there, this is not the only system that works. For instance, I like to compare this situation with what is happening in China. China is, is gain, getting stronger and stronger on the political scene, uh, despite the, that, of course, they have very strong um, bureaucracies, but China also has very strong uh, uh, family and kin-like, uh, kin-linked um, uh, structures, which uh, which help them them um, 
uh, work. So we have as, as scientists also to keep open uh, our minds that this perhaps the, the bureaucratic solution is, is not the only solution. And finally the last where, where Andres was, was helping us uh, with uh, analyzing the data, uh, uh, probably you will see today a lot of comparisons between countries. What, what I would like to, to warn against is, is what is called the methodological nationalism which, uh, which uh, puts most the, uh, the main attention uh, in the um, uh, or the main ana uh, unit of analysis is the nation state. Uh, when we we try to break up uh, the the quantitative uh, data on smaller scales, uh, uh, on smaller units, or or unfortunately in this map uh, we can only see uh, Albania um, uh, and Kosovo. Uh, uh, broke down uh, in uh, the municipal uh, units, but we can do it uh, elsewhere. And you, what you can see here, when when the um, uh, averages are made between uh, on the country scale, it looks that the country is uniform. But actually, inside uh, the country itself, there is a wide uh, range of uh, of uh, variation. So we should be very uh, very careful when when putting this um, um, nation state as the basis of our um, analysis. Uh, because um, because the internal uh, variations might be much more uh, important, but what we uh, um, we um, uh, the problem with uh, with this perspective on the on the basis of nation states is that uh, that it prioritizes the formal structures, uh, while informal might be more important. Thank you very much.